Mina, Konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. More with Dark Souls 2. Looking forward to getting back into this game. So I've cleared out this area of all bad guys and found an interesting method to keep my souls as I cleared out as many enemies as I could each time through. I would make sure I died somewhere in the middle of the courtyard. So when I do come back and the pursuer appears, I can just do that and Bushki. No, you don't. No, you don't. Again. Yeah, and I just got my fucking shit wrecked. Uh, nope. Gave me a little more space. That was cool. Uh, no again. What's he doing? What's that? What the hell was that shit? Oh, this motherfucker. That's um a hex of some kind. Okay. I don't know what cursing does. But it sucks. Well, let's do... Okay. Are there any residual effects from being cursed? Not that I'm going to see any shit from there. And I can't see anything from there either. I don't see any difference. I don't see anything. Okay. Uh... No idea what that... So does Cursing would just do a ton of damage, like, bleed? Is that what it does? I'm trying to figure out, like, what exactly... What exactly happened there? Wait, now... Wait, are you serious? Oh, there you are! I was like, hold on, I was starting to miss you. Uh, no you don't. Whoa! Shit. Well, that was... Huh? That <laughs> still restored me. Good deal. Oh. Circle strafing! Hit you twice. Oh. That? Oh, it's that thing. Hold on. I know. Fucking barrels! I think they. Okay. That did jack fucking shit. this. Thank you. It's a heck of a lot faster than it was. That's a good thing. Circle strafing. Oh, damn. Look at that shit. One. Just one. And again, my dodging skills are goddamn fucking shit. Oh, that again? Oh, boy, that's, that's really bad. What is it? Okay, what did that do? What is that? What did that do? Okay, time to die. Or not. <laughs> there we go. Bye-bye. And a twinkling titanite. Have I had? Have I got? I don't think I've gotten one of those yet. Yeah, that's my first twinkling. 
Reinforces what cannot normally be reinforced. A form of Titanite with special power. Reinforce the equipment that cannot normally be reinforced up to plus five. What cosmic event could have created such a powerful class of Titanite? It's a very good question. I don't have a very good answer. So this whole area is also cleared out. And where there is a special little surprise around the corner here. The uh, barrel up there that dude sends, normally if you smack it with the mace, it just, uh, it just, it just breaks. And normally when he hits it, it explodes all the way up there. Some, and normally when it rolls all the way down here, it just hits the wall and doesn't do anything. So, yeah. But somehow it got down here, and I, if I remember correctly, and maybe I don't, it's like I hit it with my mace... I, because I haven't used the flame, I, I guess I probably could use the flaming sword and that would do the trick, but I, I didn't, simply didn't do that. And yeah, it blew a hole in this wall here. So we have another bonfire and a little area that we can explore. So let's go ahead and do this shit, but first, we level up. Oh, Emerald Herald, I've missed you and your cute little mannerisms. So, uh, come back to me. Or, no, rather, I, you, I'm taking back. You haven't gone anywhere. I'll come back to you. Is that a shard you found? Here, let me see it. So that I may help you to see light, however faint it. By all means. I forgot I even got that. Shit. Good deal. Yes, yes, yes. And more strength! More strength for me! More strength for Brandon! Okay, what needs doing now? Equal those two out. Uh, levels are getting more pricey, but then I've leveled up so fucking much, that is not a surprise at all. And there's so much that needs leveling up. Um... It's like there are more weapons to equip, more armor to equip, more spells to use. Ah, uh, I'm gonna go with faith for now. We're gonna do that. Actually, we may be able to level up one more time if I use some souls. So let's go for that. I'm glad I actually bothered to try to listen to her that time. Is there anything else? No, nothing else to be done. Okay, what souls have I? I've, oh, I've got a good... Oh, a brave warrior. I've got some stuff here. Cool. I did the trick. One more level of faith, please. Bearer of the sea. One more thing of faith, if I could, my good woman. Here we go. Thank you, thank you. I feel much more devoted to God now. So let's go back to... Where are we going? McDuff's Workshop. There's a holding cells, the tower of... Damn, I forget which is which now. Exile holding cells should take me back to where I was previously. Hasn't been that long since I played the game, but I don't remember shit. Or something now. Didn't I come in this way? Yeah, from um Dead Man's Wharf. Yes, yes, yes. Now. So this is the Exile Holding Cells. McDuff's workshop. What is that? Remind me, game. Oh, okay, this is the new area that I just went to. And the other bonfire... Was there a bonfire over there? I was like, where I came in from the crow, and the crow flew me in. I don't think there was a bonfire over there. Pretty sure that's not the case. This is... Uh, uh, I know. Oh, this is where the crow flew me in. Yeah, that is exactly where this is. Okay. Well, let's go back to McDuff's workshop. 
Eventually the two are going to connect and I'm going to find out stuff. Oh, the Great Scythe makes a reappearance. Cool. Let's see what's through here. Oh, it's an actual dude. Hi! <laughs> oh, why can't they all be this easy? <laughs> I was like, no, I'm right in front of him. I can't get any closer. Mm. Mm. We've got a wild one here. Shabu. Shabu, I say. Flipping for the win. Dear flame, how brightly you burn. <laughs> this dude definitely sounds nuts. Flynn, Flynn, I smell flame upon you. I'm Macduff the blacksmith. All I want is a little flame. <coughs> so, I'm not <coughs> remember to me. Right now. You imbecile. Oh, jeez. All the blacksmiths in this game are pieces of shit! Eh, why not? The other guy can't use it. Oh, what a marvelous ember. You've got stones, I pray. Give me stones, and I'll fortify your gear. Okay, now what does this motherfucker do? Oh, the Uchi Katana. Oh, let's read some of this shit. Wing spear. Scythe. Oh, there's some new stuff here. A longbow. Okay. A royal kite shield. Oh, we got. Okay, let's let's do this. The Uchi Katana, a katana of unknown origin, crafted with a peculiar yet refined technique. The finely sharpened blade of a katana slices with unmistakable smoothness, but should be wielded with caution, as its delicate constitution means it's easily worn. Is the durability 40? Refresh my memory. Yep, that's the durability. So the Uchi Katana, yeah, it's a little bit weaker than a lot of other weapons. The Great Axe, the Great Axe wielded with both hands. I was saying that's 80, yeah, that's double the Uchi Katana. This Great Axe crafted with a gigantic, weighty blade is designed to inflict heavy damage and requires inhuman strength to wield. Each swing of the Great Axe requires the full force of the body, leaving the wielder wide open. Mastering this weapon will require the most thorough training of both body and mind. Um, yeah, not, not really into that. Even the Great Sword doesn't leave that wide an opening. If it leaves a much greater opening than the regular axes, I would not be interested. Wing Spear, Scythe, a scythe fitted with a large custom blade. It has an extended slashing reach when swung broadly, but beware, these attacks make the wielder very vulnerable. Eh. Longbow, okay. Same thing as it same description as the regular bow. It probably needs a little bit more dexterity and it probably I'm assuming goes longer. The Royal Kite Shield, ah, another one hundred percenter. A metal shield issued tonight. Nothing special about this shield, which is precisely why it is so easy to use and the likely reason for its popularity. People rarely agree over what constitutes quality, but the broad popularity of these shields proves that there are exceptions. And the Drang Lake Shield, it already gives me 100%, so not interested in the slightest. What do you sell, good sir? Unlimited Iron Arrows. Cool. Iron Great Arrow. Okay, that's something new. Standard Great Arrows made of iron. More effective than regular arrows, but considerably heavier. So does that mean I don't need a Great Bow to use them? Wood Bolt and Heavy Bolt. Okay, and Repair Powder and... He sells unlimited large Titanite shards. Very nice. Kind of wish... Hold on. I was going to say, I kind of wish I hadn't leveled up now. No. I saved the big souls for stuff like this. Let's see what I can buy and what um, if I can't level up that mace or not. Repair. Infuse weapon. Infuse it with what? I press A, will it... How much does it cost? 
Wait, are you serious? I can I can use all I can do all this shit right now. Holy shit, there's magic, fire, lightning, dark, poison, mundane, enchanted and raw. And I don't know what all and there are and the, okay, so that's reversion and that is bleed, I guess. Very interesting. I don't know what all these things mean, but I have access to them. Ah, uh, hmm. Probably ask Rob. This is actually this is my normal Thursday recording, and Robbie couldn't be here today, so I'm gonna be recording lots and lots of episodes without him. Might just ask him though, like what exactly these do and what he thinks is good. In the last game, lightning and fire were pretty solid. They give gave you a solid upgrade. Um, and you really, you, you didn't need to worry about your strength or your dexterity anymore. Just, boom, here was your upgrade. I won't assume things are the same in this game. I won't assume that at all. Um, and mundane is something brand spanking new. <laughs> so, yeah, he can do everything but it, but put bleed on it. I guess because it's a mace. He can put bleed on other things. Yeah, he's... Ha! I'll be. Just whatever you want. Here it is. Oh, that is so fascinating. And he can do re he can do repairs. He can do reinf he can do the reinforcements. But right now, the mace would need a large titanite shard, and I, he would need I would need two of them. Let's see if I can't do that. Okay, talk to this motherfucker. Steady hand, McDuff. Flame, dear flame, I give you my all, and you wavered and faltered. <laughs> From the start of time, flame allowed man to flourish. And even now, he devises new fiery arts. But his reason makes him doubt flame. And so, we waver and falter. The power of flame, power of the gods. In the end, it is all beyond our reach. Well, the gods is more lightning. And so, flame allures us, and we attempt to harness its power. Flame, dear flame. He is a creepy motherfucker. Flame, I give you my... <laughs> All right. Be gone. Well, that was to the point, wasn't it? Any mimics in here? Traps? I hope none. Holy smoke. Oh, wow. And he doesn't mind me taking his shit? Really? Iron arrow. Heavy bolt. Can I open from this side now? Wait. It's, it's locked. Hold on. So if you discover the secret, great, there it is. If you don't, you have to find the key, which is, I guess, somewhere around here? Maybe, possibly. Well, anyway, let's go down. Let's do the soul of a brave warrior. Give myself some souls here. Oh, that was pretty. I ought to fetch a new ember. Flame, dear flame. Alright, we're going to reinforce. And I've got some shit now. Yep, let's do that. And now he I need three. Let's see, we're going to 
Yep, I can. I hold one. I need two more. Ah, oh, boo. Free. Well, hey, nothing wrong with that. Let's use more. Get this maze going. I ought to fetch it. And all of this from just the dull ember. I wonder what else can be done. Well, that's about it for this video here. Time is definitely up, so thank you guys very much for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you disliked it, hit that dislike button. And if you really liked it, be sure to share with a friend. Subscribe and join the freaks! I love you, and God bless.